The state is set to move ahead to phase four of the governor's plan come Friday, and it's a step many say is long overdue. Though more things will be open, we aren't back to normal just yet. W Singai 3's Gabrielle Franklin is live at the Capitol. Okay, so explain what is in this phase, Gabrielle, that's different from the first three. Well, Jennifer, a key word for this phase is leisure. People will be able to go out and dine, they can go catch a movie, and even take the kids to some attractions. But of course, social distancing efforts will be in effect, and that has some people mapping out their plans before they reopen their doors and let people back in. This has been the most nerve-wracking experience of my life, I think. I just, uh, but it's, uh, it's gonna work its way out, hopefully. Businesses are feeling hopeful as the state prepares to move on to phase four of the governor's reopening plan. Guidance released Monday calls for gyms to open at 50% capacity. Movie theaters can resume with 50 guests in attendance and social distancing guidance in tow. Some areas of the economy that require group meetings and conventions will also be limited to only 50 people, somewhat of a setback for those hoping for less restrictions. But unfortunately, we're not going to be able to reopen our, our meeting rooms to 50% capacity, and so we're not going to be able to make the, the meeting come back at this point. Uh, however, we will be able to make a leisure come back in phase four. Outdoor recreation sites like Knights Action Park can reopen to group sizes of up to 50 people, allowing multiple groups to come in as long as they follow social distancing guidance. I have very, very few. I mean, we're restricted to uh, uh, small members on the group outing, so... Um, so it's not, I don't think it's going to affect us. The people won't know, notice any difference between my 50% capacity and full capacity. Indoor dining will resume for restaurants. It's something Springfield Mayor Jim Langfelder says will help keep the city's economy afloat. Uh, because people are, you know, I guess eager to go out. Others are eager to support uh, local economy from, uh, you know, different restaurants and uh, retail shops, things of that nature. So. Uh, I think with the indoor seating, that will definitely help and we'll keep reemphasizing the importance of uh, supporting our local businesses. Attractions like museums and zoos will also reopen, but only at 25% occupancy. The Abraham Lincoln Presidential Museum and Library says that they're looking forward to opening next week, but we did reach out to other places like historic sites who say that they're not ready to reopen just yet. They're still working with public health to decide when and how they will reopen. Jennifer? Definitely call ahead to anything you think might be open, but... And I've been noticing that the very latest information is all on these uh, places' Facebook pages more than their website, so I, I would go there as well. All right, Gabrielle, thank you so much. Now, coming up at 6.30, we've got more on the changes in Phase 4 with our Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell. I'm going to ask him about the chances on moving on to fi Phase 5 as well.